Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video because I'm finally going to be trying out the new collab between Teresa's Dead and Lethal Cosmetics. So this is the Teresa's Lethal palette. I also got the gel liners and one of the highlighters and I am so excited. I already love the Lethal is Dead palette that they came out with last year I think. And I love Lethal Cosmetics in general. I have a lot of their products. I have a lot of their eyeshadows. Um, they're one of my favorite brands. So as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to have it. And it took a little while to get to me, but it's here and it's beautiful and I can't wait to use it. <laughs> and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a soft spot for any makeup and colorful makeup. And I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. So this is the palette, this is the outer packaging. Also, if you've been around for a while, I finally redid my nails, needed to repaint them for over a week. <laughs> Picked this really pretty dark olive color and I am obsessed. Um, but this is the Teresa is Lethal palette. It has this nice little sleeve. I don't remember the cost of everything. Um, I will have it all in the description box. I believe this was 30 something or $40. The highlighter was like, 19 and then the liners are like 15 each, but I'll have everything down below. Um, I did purchase from Lethal directly. I was gonna order from Camaretti, but I didn't wake up in time and it sold out and it was a pre-order and they didn't know the date. Um, so I went with Lethal and then it took a little while to process the order and everything. They're normally very fast though. Um, and the express shipping really is express and gets here fast. It's just been slow getting here, things here to Seattle lately. Um, but this is the palette, it's really beautiful. Uh, this is just a little sleeve. I love the sci-fi theme. Um, I half expected this to be called like the Alien Slut palette or something just because of Teresa, but I do think Teresa's Lethal is a cute name, especially since the last one was Lethal is Dead. Uh, I like the little aliens and stuff. And instead of being like 80s horror movie themed, it's all sci-fi. Really love this pack around here. And then when you open it up, you get a nine pin palette. Mine came with some product around here, but none of the shades are broken. I think it's just from shifting because, you know, it came from Germany. And it is so pretty. This shade, the TV dinner silver, is so bright in person. I, I wish, I really hope the camera can do it justice, but I don't think it will. And this duochrome looks so pretty. Um, I can't wait to try this. I will do some swatches in a minute and all of that. I also got one of the highlighters. So there was uh, two highlighters and a blush, I believe. One highlighter was just really icy and I didn't think that would look as good on my skin tone. Um, I didn't need just a plain icy, icy highlighter. And the blush looked really pretty and it kind of looked like bacon in the pan. Um, and I love Lethal's blush formula, but the color isn't my go-to kind of blush color. I'm wearing a neutral blush right now, but it was a little too pink and a little too pale. And I just, I saw Angelica Nequis used it and she's lighter than me. And I was like, okay, I, I don't think that's gonna work. Um, but they did launch uh, Moon Rock, which is one of their highlighters. This is how it came in a little sleeve, just like their shadows do. I already put it in one of my magnetic palettes and it is this shade here and it is beautiful. I've already used this, it's great. I'm gonna put it on so you can see, so I don't have any highlighter on, but I also will show you, I used it as an eyeshadow yesterday and it looked really great. Um, I was gonna wear a lethal blush today, but these are both really shiny and I wanted the highlighter to show up. So I just used a very neutral brush, a blush, and then my lethal bronzer that's in a different one of these. <laughs> And then I also used Lethal on my lips and I have, this is the shade Leeward in the liquid lipstick. I love this. It's very similar to the Kaleidos formula. Not, not exactly, but very similar on that like moussey, lightweight kind of liquid lip. So I also got both of the gel liners that came out with this collection. I love the Lethal gel liners. I have like six or seven of them. They're really great. They're creamy, but not, they're not quite as creamy as like the Melt ones if you've used those but they're very creamy, they work beautifully, they last all day, they don't irritate my eyes and my waterline or on the line, on my lid. Love them, great formula. Um, so there are two shades, there's the shade Harvested 
and galactic goo. So they come in these little pots. There's a little stopper, which you want to keep so they don't dry out too fast. But harvested is this really beautiful, like blood red color. And I've been wanting a liner of this color. I want one that's a little darker than this, like a dark brick. Um, but that's a different, that's just a side. And then this is Galactic Goo, which is this really pretty green. And I did want to compare it uh, to another green liner I have like this. So I will do that when I do the swatches. So I'm going to take my watch off since I've been babbling for a while and start swatching. There's lots of videos out there from people who got this in PR. I did not. I'm not lucky enough to be on the, the lethal PR list. But I do want to do swatches so you can see them, especially if you are similar skin tone to me. I'm a medium olive and I know I search for things on my skin tone a lot. So, <clears throat> so I'm just going to do swatches on my arm. There's no primer or anything. I do want to say lethal shadows tend to be really soft, so they don't always swatch the best, but they work beautifully on the eyes. So I don't really take swatches for performance. It's more color and color against my skin. So the first shade is TV Dinner, and I have not touched any of these. Really beautiful silver, super metallic silver. A little bit of gray, not like, not like a white silver, but like a gray silver, really like that. Area 52. It's a nice like pale taupe. Um, I do have a video swatching all of my lethal shadows so that you can see comparisons by color. I do want to do an updated version of that because it's been about a year. It's one of my top videos. It's always in my recently watched section. Um, but I've gotten more shadows since then, so I do need to do an update sometime soon. If you would like that, let me know. Um, Space Duster. This is a gray, but it looks like a little bit of a bluey gray. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, silver. I love that. So that'll be a nice transition shade, especially if you're lighter than me. Doesn't show up that much on me, but Teresa is very pale. She does call herself uncooked chicken, and I am Hispanic and very much not that. <laughs> and I have a little bit of sparkle all over from that shade. Um, so let's see. The next shade is Pew Pew, which is a Bubble them kind of pink shade. Not my typical, but I think paired with these will look really nice. It's really pretty. Hive Mind. That's really pretty. So that's like, I would say kind of a copper red um, with a pink flip. And then Plutonian is this dark purple. I really like that. That is very pink and very light. I do want to see if that will show up on my skin tone. That's really beautiful. And that's really pretty. And then the last three are actually the three I'm probably the most excited for other than the silver. And it's Space Trash, which looks so pretty. Wow, that's really reflective. Beautiful, like blue, pink, maybe a little bit of purple in there. Venus Envy is this really pretty green, like that, like grass green. And then Specimen 3, it's kind of a gray teal. And I love their teal shades, so that's really nice. So we've got, that's so pretty. The shimmers in this are just gorgeous. And that's really nice. I do love that even in these collab palettes, they are still their magnetic pans. They don't have holes in the back like their normal palettes, but you can still use a magnet to pull them out and use them as singles if you want. So I am gonna go wash off my arm and then I'll be back to do some looks. I think I'm gonna do two looks, one on each eye. It's kind of later in the day. I don't wanna like do a look and then wash it off and film another one. And I also don't wanna like take two days to film this just because I have other stuff I need to film and work to do. So I'm going to probably do one on each eye so I can try as many as possible and see what we think. So I did want to also quickly do some swatches of the highlighter and the gel liners. 
so you can see what those look like. So for the highlighter, I'm just going to use my finger. It feels very similar to their other highlighters. They're just a powder, but they're really, really soft and really, really pretty on the skin. Um, I'll do this on the back of my hand. So I'll put the highlighter up here. So you can see this is supposed to be a green gold duochrome highlighter, and it is really pretty. I thought this would look the nicest on my skin tone, being an olive and having kind of yellow and green in me already. Um, and I did wear this yesterday and it was beautiful. Um, I will insert a clip at the end of what that looked like on my eyes. And then for the two gel liners, I grabbed a couple brushes so I can do a little swatch so you can see what those look like. Uh, color-wise. So this is the shade Harvested. You can see it very creamy. Just picked up a little bit on this tiny little brush. Really pretty color. This is not a color I would wear in my waterline because I think it would just make my eyes look kind of bloodshot, but on the lid, really nice. I'll put that right here. That's really pretty and I messed up the swatch. Actually, this is dark enough, I might use that in the waterline. I like that a lot. Um, so I'm excited for that. I've been wanting a shade like this. And then this is the shade Galactic Goo. So I'm gonna pick that up on another little brush. And if they do dry out, Lethal does sell a mixing medium. That's not a bad price that you can use to rehydrate those or, you know, turn your shadows into like more of a liquid shadow or something. So I do appreciate that. And this is like a deep kind of metallic teal. Really, really like that. It's like a soft metallic where there's like sparkle, but not like big chunks of glitter. And then I did want to compare that in case anybody was curious to the melt liner from their holiday collection last year. This is the shade Colibri. Um, melt doesn't have the little stopper, but you can see it's also a metallic green. Um, theirs are, melts are even creamier, and this is almost a year old and still looks very creamy. And my brush just broke. Um, okay. Okay, so theirs are very creamy. Sometimes I think a little too cream, like some people say they're a little too creamy, but I do like their formula as well. And I just want to show you side by side in case you already have that or you were trying to decide between the two. So you can see it's a little bit brighter, a little more metallic looking. So if this was like too metallic for you, the lethal would be a great option because it's not quite as matte as the red, but not like metallic, metallic, shiny like this. It's really pretty. It's kind of a satin. Um, and this brush just broke. This is a, an Odin's eye brush. So this is going in the trash <laughs> because it broke. This fell off and now I have gel liner all over my table. <laughs> so I washed my hands just to make sure I don't have any excess. You can see once they dry down, even with soap and water, they take a little bit, uh, they take actual makeup remover to wash off, but that's fine. I will do that later. I just didn't want to smear anything on myself. So I'm going to put the highlighter on. So this is the shade Moon Walk, I believe. Moon Rock. So this is the shade Moonrock. This is my go-to highlighter brush. This is the LBF6 from Lunar Beauty. It's like the right shape and kind of fluffy. And you can see, you can go kind of soft with it or really build it up. And I'm just gonna put that all over here and all over here. I do have the green highlighter from Odin's Eye that came out from their um, Solana 2 collection. And I do really like that one. It's got like a purple base with a green flip. And this being green gold, I thought would like blend into my skin a little bit better. Like you can see there's no cast and then the light hits it and you see green and gold. There's literally no cast, which I, at least on my skin tone, which I really appreciate. And it is so wet looking and blinding even in person. Like I, I you can wear it more subtle and I have, but I do really love the look of this. See, like if I put just a little bit on the tip of my nose, it's much less intense. I 
Okay, now that I am very shiny, <laughs> I'm going to finally try out the palette. I also think, I do want to say before I start the looks that I think these pair really nicely together. There's definitely a cohesiveness to them. Like you can tell they're made by the same person even though they're not the same colors. Like this is a much lighter teal. These are a different kind of blue. This doesn't, you know, than the blue shimmer here. You've got a pink and a dark purple instead of these like more maroon shades. But I think you could pair and make some looks using both of these really nicely. So I'm very happy I have both last year's and this one. I also think it's really funny that they announced this um, while we were on our trip in LA. And I was just, I realized as I was there, we were staying at our friend's house. I was in his living room and I was like, oh my God, the last time we were in LA, we were staying here and Teresa and Lethal launched a collab. So apparently it just seems like fate that, uh, Every time we go to stay at our friends in Silver Lake, Teresa and Liesl launch something, at least for the last two years. <laughs> um, I really wanna try the silver and I really wanna try this shade and I wanna see if this pink will show up on my skin tone. So I think what I'm gonna do is do plutonium on the outer corner, blend it out with the pink and then put the silver on. You could easily do kind of monochromatic looks per row, but I wanna mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to start with uh, a Refer 26, which is a big pencil brush. And I really like this for starting looks on the outer corner. So I'm going to pick up that dark purple. Picks up really beautifully. And I'm going to start with the dark color because this is so pale and just try to use it to blend out. So I'm just going to pat that right here. I always tap off my brush. I mean, with every shadow, but especially a softer shadow like Lethal, um, it helps me. I never get fallout f because I do that. That's a really beautiful shade. This one's a little tighter pressed than they sometimes are, um, but I'm sure that has to do with the color itself, making sure it's not overly soft, but it's not like too tightly pressed, like it's swatched fine. And it's performing really nicely. So I'm just putting that out here and blending into my crease a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush that's a little better at blending and I'm just going to blend this in since that was more for placement and shape. And you can see it's blending out really nicely already. Don't even know if I need the pink. This video should be going up probably tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Today is Monday the 17th. Um, I have a couple more things that I want to film today. My Pat McGrath Mega Mothership finally came, so that video will be coming up soon. But tomorrow I have a dentist appointment and physical therapy, so probably not filming anything tomorrow. And who knows about having time to edit this. So we'll see. Okay, so that's just the purple blended out and it's blended out really nicely just while I talked. I don't even think I need the pink, but I am gonna put a little bit of it on the inner part of the lid, but I don't think I really need it out here. It's blended out really nicely. And I think you could blend it out with the pink, with the, the gray, with the teal. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Pew Pew on the same little brush and I'm going to put that in my inner corner right here just so we can see if it shows up on my skin tone. These kind of pale pinks don't always. Actually most of the time they don't. Okay that is showing up. I don't think I would wear the shade very often by itself but it does blend in to the uh, purple really nicely. So I'm just kind of blending that over the edge of the purple to make sure it's perfectly blended. But honestly, it looked nice to me beforehand. And there's a little bit of kick up for that shade, but I'm, that doesn't bother me. And then to try as many shades as possible, I'm gonna pick up Space Duster, the gray, and I'm gonna put that underneath my eye. 
That's really pretty. That's definitely pigmented. I know they have another gray in their collection. I do not have that one though. Because I don't wear gray too often. I, my goal is to have every lethal shade. I just, I am very far from that. I did have 70 something before, so I probably have over a hundred, but they just have a lot of shades and they're really beautiful. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the dark purple and place that right here to kind of tie it together. Okay. And then using that soft, well, this has nothing on it anymore. I'm just kind of blending the edges. So that looks really nice. I'm going to now try the silver shade. I could do a little more monochromatic and put the, the corally shade on the lid, but I want to go full cool tone and use the silver. So I'm picking that up on a Refer 21. I often use glitter glue with their shadows to make sure they last all day and like stick and I don't get fallout, but I'm going to risk it and see what happens without glitter glue today. And I'm just going to, one tip if you want to avoid fallout is instead of just immediately swiping, kind of press the shadow on. You let the, the warmth of your skin kind of like grab onto it. That is so pretty. It's literally just on my lid with a little bit of the Urban Decay primer. There's so much sparkle. This is gonna be, this is a good silver for like a holiday, like a New Year's kind of silver. We're going out to a, a bar with lots of lights that are going to hit the sparkle. I'm going to run that on my inner corner just a little bit. Okay. I, I am obsessed with this, this silver. This is so beautiful. Okay. It's just as intense as the new silver in the Pat McGrath uh, five pans that was like indie level shine, but this is sparklier. That was a little more smooth. Okay, love this. Um, okay, I love this. This is gorgeous. Um, I kind of want to do this on the other eye as well so that I can have just this as the completed look. I will just have to repeat that and do that for another day because I love this. <laughs> um, I do have a little bit of sparkle fallout right here, but that's not that bad. Okay, so I'm gonna do a second look, like I said, because I do wanna try more shades. I'm just so in love with this. I kind of wanna just put it on that, this eye and go about the rest of my day, but I will just have to recreate this look again on both eyes and post pictures of that because I love this. Um, for this set, I really wanna try the shimmer. So I'm gonna base the shades around that and I'm gonna start with specimen three. I'm gonna put that on a brush and I'm gonna tap that in the outer corner and blend it out and see how well I can just blend that shade. Really pretty. I got dark teal. And then I'm just gonna take what's left and brush it this way. This is a really nice shade. Lethal Shadows, and actually I found, I think because of Teresa's Dead, and then I got, looked at their Instagram and I fell in love and they are what got me into indie makeup. I had tried some uh, mostly drugstore, ColourPop, stuff like that. And then I finally splurged on my first Lethal Shades at one point, I think end of 2020, mid 2020, I don't know. And uh, I was hooked <laughs> and uh, they have been one of my favorite brands since. I really like this dark teal. This is a really pretty shade. This might look a little bit more emerald green on someone who's not olive, but on olive skin, this is just gonna pull straight teal. But it's a really pretty teal. Um, I'm gonna use the same brush, pick up a little bit of Venus Envy, and I'm gonna run that right here, that little two-tone crease pop of color. And then picking up just a little bit more of Specimen 3 and just kind of re-intensifying out here. 
making sure the blend is nice. Um, you could easily use Area 52, especially if you're lighter than me, to blend the edges. And I might. I want to put it on my lower lash line to kind of see how it shows up on my skin tone first, though. So I'm going to put that right here. Yeah, this shade doesn't really show up that much. I could do a soft wash of color with this in like a no makeup makeup kind of way because it's a little lighter and a little more cool tone than my skin. So it's gonna look, you know, interesting kind of 90s vibes. But if you are more similar to Teresa in skin tone, I think that's gonna look nice on you. So I'm just using a little smudgy brush to bring that teal down here. Yeah, I pick up just a little bit of that and brush it over the edge. It works, but it looks a little bruisey on me, but um, I definitely blend it out a little more than I meant to on the side, but that's fine. I will fix the edges with concealer in a minute. Now going into another uh, F21, I'm gonna pick up Space Trash and I'm gonna put that all over this lid. You could do a, a really interesting look with the teal, the pink in this, if you wanted to tie the mattes into that. My washer just finished, so you might have just heard that little jingle. I think this blue pink shade would look really pretty over the purples. Like over here, could have done it there too. This is so pretty. A lot of people seem to hate their shimmers. I love lethal shimmers. I think their multi-chromes are really nice. I think their shimmers are really nice. I don't know. Like I've seen so many people on YouTube and talk to people who are like, oh, I love their mattes, but their shimmers are garbage. And I'm like, how are they garbage? Also, like if you like ColourPop shimmers, how is this bad? Like ColourPop shimmers are trash. Just don't. No, I mean, everybody has their own opinion, but some people are questionable. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and tidy up the edges with the concealer, add some mascara and stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and these are the finished looks. On this side, I added a little bit more of the highlight as my inner corner, and then I used Galactic Glue as a small liner just to try it out on my actual eyes. My eyes are suddenly very itchy. I don't know what I'm allergic to. And then I put on my Pat McGrath mascara. I love both of these. <laughs> really, really into this one. I've been more into cool tones lately uh, or like no makeup makeup looks. It's either this or that. Um, but I am really, really loving this. It looks so sparkly in person. Like, <laughs> I don't think there's a way to properly capture how sparkly it is. Um, I use my phone, so I can't use my phone as a flashlight. I will try to capture a little video like in the bathroom or something where the light is hitting it better so you can see the sparkle and I'll insert that right here because it is so pretty. This is a beautiful shimmer. Uh, this is my favorite kind of shimmer. It's smooth, it's got a shift, it's sparkly, but this is just so textured and so sparkly. It seems extra special. Um, really happy about this. So I am loving all of the products. The liner worked well. You can see there's good stain power for them. Um, I need to use actual makeup remover because uh, the red one is fully dry. They do take a little bit to dry down, which is why the green came off. Um, the shades all work beautifully. The highlighter is the same formula they're always doing. So while this is a first impression, <laughs> honking outside, while this is a first impression, I can say pretty confidently that this seems like the same amazing formula they always have, if not even better. So if you were interested in it and haven't picked it up, I don't see why any of it wouldn't work. Um, but I do really love Lethal and these, these seem like the same great quality. Um, yesterday what I did to try out this, we were going to a haunted house thing with my best friend and her husband and something that we used to do when I lived here 15 years ago <laughs> and hadn't done since. Um, and I wanted something fun to go out with, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time because 
we were cooking and other stuff. So I did, I'll put a little picture and a video here, um, but I did a little bit of my bronzer on my crease, the how one of the House Labs liners, the, it's supposed to be like a bronze black, like a blackened bronze, but it looks like a blackened olive in person, um, especially against my skin tone. So I used that and kind of smudged it. I put it in my waterline, on my lit, uh, on my tight line, smudged it out here a little bit, and then I just put this with my finger all over my lid and over the smudge liner, and it looked so pretty. Uh, I put a little bit on my cheek after I got home. I didn't actually have any highlighter, or I had like a really basic nude, barely there highlighter when we were going out. But when I got home, I also tried it on my face, which you can see in the video, and it, it looked beautiful. Lasted really well. We were gone for, I don't know, like five or six hours between driving there and back and everything. Even without a primer down, it didn't like melt away like some shimmers do, so even worked as an eyeshadow. Um, the palette, beautiful. I can't wait to play with this more. I think the this shimmer would look really nice over these mattes like I kind of did over here instead of the silver. I think the only thing is this Area 52 shade is really only going to work on light skin, but that happens a lot in palettes, especially ones that are designed by white people. So I'm not mad about it. It's just a fact of life. I have so many palettes where there's like one weird pale shade that I can't use. So, um, but I did put it down here and it looks okay. It just looks a little bruisey. So if you're going for that effect, um, but if you're lighter than me, you could use it, especially if you didn't want to blend the purple out with a, the pink, you could blend it out with that and keep it grounded a little bit more. <clears throat> so that's the looks. Those are my opinions on everything. I will continue playing with all of these products the rest of the month and the second half of the month. And at the beginning of November, I'll give you more feedback um, if I've changed my mind or anything or noticed any issues, but pretty confident that these are gonna be staples for me, especially this highlight. <laughs> Uh, I'm just obsessed in this silver. Um, let me know what you think of the looks, what you think of the palette. Have you picked up anything in the first launch or are you waiting for a sale or anything like that? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know which look you like more. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.